This is why I train in martial arts. I was going to go in one direction, but I'm going to do it this way. Okay. You know, because I, unfortunately, I have to worry about being seen as, what is the word, a misogynist, even though I know I'm not. But I have to worry about that and, and try to make things, quote unquote, fair. But I am going to say something about this. I want you to look at this woman. She's from Wilmington, Delaware. Her name is Latasha Stanford. Okay. I want you to get a look at Latasha Stanford. I'm not even going to go into full details of her story. She was sentenced to, st to seven years in prison for stabbing her boyfriend. Now we're going to go across the pond, as they say. Oh, no, nah, computer. No, computer. Don't try to dim the lights. This woman's name is Lavinia Woodward. They still got a line that ends with a schwa. OK, so people who think that only African-Americans have those three syllable names, they start with la and end with a schwa. If you don't know what a schwa is, it means vowel sound. It sounds like a. Uh. OK, look at her. Yeah, I don't know if you can read the fine print. She's arriving at court and has been allowed to suspend her studies for 18 months. OK, let me click through these pictures because I want to get out of here. Medical student who was spared jail time. For stabbing boyfriend because of her extraordinary talent may exploit loophole to go back to her studies at Oxford University. OK. This is the story that's been going around at least since May of a medical student who they say it may ruin her career to go to jail, so they don't want to send her to jail. But people are going to say that she's not going to jail because she's a medical student. I don't think that's why she's not going to jail. Let's see. We have Lavinia Woodward. What is the difference between Lavinia Woodward and Latasha Stanford? OK, now we can argue it's because it's two different countries. Right. Yes, that would make sense. But I think in both countries, it's illegal to stab people. So we live in a world where if the judges think you've got promise, they'll let you stab a man. But if the judges don't think you have promise, they send you to jail for stabbing a man. Latasha, why does it say she stabbed her man? She'd been arguing with the fathers out of her home. It says boyfriend. She stabbed her boyfriend. They must have met the father of her child. So she goes to jail for stabbing the father of her child. Father of a child, her boyfriend. Lavinia, that sounds more hood to me than Latasha. But what happens to Lavinia? A teenage boy was hospitalized after a shooting Tuesday night near Newcastle. The gunfire took place in the unit block of Highlands Boulevard at about 9.30. That's a different story. She gets to go back to Oxford, possibly. This one may go back to Oxford. Oh, she's a medical student. I don't care. That's all the more reason. What happened to that Hippocratic Oath? I'll do no harm. What happened to that? She's supposed to be more intelligent. She should be held to a higher standard if she's a medical student. But Latasha Stanford, Latasha Stanford goes to jail. Lavinia Woodward may go to Yale. Ashley Oxford. So let me see what other point I can come up with. One may go to Oz, the other one may go to Oxford. You men out there, and you know what? Actually, you women too. It's possible that someone may get off scot-free for stabbing you. And now they're going off in the comment section. They're saying only plebes go to prison, only the plebeians. 
That means the common regular people. Only they go to jail. And that's how we're starting to look. So apparently, if you're stabbed by someone, their society has decided to award privileges, you may not get justice. What has historically helped people who are being denied justice? Training in the martial arts. So if you are near me, I highly suggest you take some martial arts training. I'm going to read uh, Grandmaster Art Mason's ebook that's out now. I also found a class that I may take. I'm going to have to wait until my funds open up. They should open up probably by the middle, not the middle of next year, by the end of the first quarter of next year. I'm going to enroll in that class. I may just enroll in, in it now anyway, and I'm just going to have to suck it up and find the money. So you tell me what you think. Natasha versus Lavinia. Both laws, both schwas. One goes to jail, one goes to college, and they did the same thing. What do you think about it? And both of those are reasons why you need to take a martial arts class. And if you read the stories, I think I'll link to both stories, because if you read the stories, both of the stabbings started because of an argument. And somebody decided to get violent. And it wasn't the man who decided to get violent. Peace.